success, fail. Success, fail. Success, fail. Looking at our lives in that way could easily make us believe that success is something that only other people have. And that success is something that's impossible to achieve for myself. We might even consider that one of the reasons is that there are so many success stories that are shared on social media. And there are almost none of the failure stories because who shares that kind of thing? But at least we know or we hope that there is a true answer for our quest for success. So what is it that keeps you away from success? How do you know that you fall into the trap? And more importantly, what can we do about it? Did you ever think to yourself, gosh, I wish I could stop thinking so much. I know for myself, I had that thought plenty of times. And thinking about it today, it's quite funny. I never thought to myself, oh gosh, I wish my heart stopped beating so much or my lungs stopped breathing so much because they are designed to do that. And your brain is designed to think. Of course, what you mean by those thoughts is, I wish that my brain stopped thinking so much about the toxic things so that I can get on with the real things in my life. We need to identify, of course, the thoughts that hold us back. And there are four thoughts in particular that we must pay attention to in order to overcome our tendency to overthink. And number one is, I never get the right opportunities. That implies that there must be somewhere, someone out there who hands you opportunities on a silver platter. But if you really look into success stories that you hear about or read about, those people always created their own opportunities. Why does he have such a pretty girlfriend? Because he asked her out. Why did she get promoted ahead of me? Because she volunteered for that project that took five months to complete in addition to her normal work hours. Or why does Matt Devella have so many likes when I have none? Er... <sighs> and when those thoughts come into your head, then ask yourself, what are the opportunities that you can create for yourself today? The second thought that often makes us overthink is that someone is holding me back. By overthinking, we try to find a scapegoat rather than focusing on what we might be doing to sabotage success. Let me ask you this though. If there was someone who's holding you back, what are you gonna do about it? Go over and have a fight? Even if in life someone is holding you back. The real answer is to take action despite that someone else. And if that's true, then the solution is the exact same whether there is someone holding you back or if there is no one holding you back. And if that's true, then you might as well save yourself the time to think about it. And speaking of time, that's the third reason why we overthink. I don't have enough time. We spend hours just thinking about all the things we could do if we just had a little bit more time. Tell you what, you just wasted hours that you could also take to take action on the things that you wanna do. Get my drift? And then there is one more thing that crosses our mind more often than we want to admit. I would do what I need to do if I knew it would work out. Here, what we try to achieve is figuring out whether something is worth it, rather than taking the risk and experimenting with things. So we start thinking, overthinking all the iterations of what could happen. The good news is that regardless of which thought patterns you fall into, the solution to all of them is quite simple. So simple, in fact, that it's infuriating and none of us want to hear it. Because there is an antidote for overthinking and that is called action. We have this thought that we must know exactly what we want in life to take action. We must be believing in ourselves and be confident in order to make a change or that we have to be Maddevella to get a like on our video. Mm. The reality is that none of that is true. You can take action even if you don't believe in yourself. You can take action even if you don't know exactly what you want in life. The only thing is that you cannot 
you cannot click the like button unless it's a Mattivella video. Sorry. If you think of any serious inventor, none of them knew exactly what they were inventing when they started. They figured it out along the way. I've recently started planning a longer road trip and let me tell you, it's a real pain. Every week there is news on COVID regulations, new rules coming out and the type of visas I need along the way change month to month. And given all that, I have zero confidence that by the time I hit the road, I have everything that I need. But you know what? It doesn't matter because I'm still going to go because that's what I want to do. And I know that when issues arise, I'll be able to figure them out. So the real reason why success is impossible to you is exactly this. You think about success, whether it's worth the effort and how to achieve it. But as soon as you cure your overthinking with that antidote of action, success becomes possible for you. Even if you don't believe in yourself, even if you still have no clue where you want to end up exactly in life. Because along the way, you come along those small successes that show you the path. And while you take action, also make sure that you align it with something that truly suits you. Tips on that in the video that's on the screen right now. And as always, have an amazing week. I will see you next time. Take care.